Hi there, in this video we're going to learn how to create your own personal letterhead design and save it as a word template. Uh, to get started, you want to create a letterhead design using Adobe Illustrator, Adobe Photoshop, any other type of design software. Um, but the most important part is that you're designing on a document size that is US letter size, which is 8.5 inches wide by 11 inches tall. When you have designed your letterhead, so here I, I used Adobe Illustrator to design this letterhead, um, you want to make sure you save it in a, in a very friendly file format such as PDF or JPEG or PNG. Any of those would work. In this instance, I'm going to save it as a PDF. Um, your letterhead design, really up to you how you want to make it appear and look, but the whole purpose is I have some blank space in the middle um, where I can eventually use that space to write letters to clients, share information, so on and so forth. Um, I've got a little bit of brand identity. I've got a logo up here, a logo here, a color scheme throughout, and I've got some contact details up there um, that help somebody that read my letter communicate with me back if they want to follow up with me. Um, so having personal letterhead, you know, just makes you stand out a little bit in a more professional manner. So uh, when you design letterhead, if you design an Illustrator or Photoshop, you know, this is not the ideal place to be writing a letter, right? Um, you're probably going to want to use something like Microsoft Word to write your letter in. So I'm going to show you how to take this design and move it into Microsoft Word. So once I've got my design done, I'm going to save it as a PDF. So I'm going to go File, Save As. Um, Make sure I name it Hekendorf. I'm going to rename this actually. Letterhead design. And then I put my name on the back end. Save it in my Creative Cloud folder. Make sure the file format down here says PDF. Like I said, if you're in Photoshop or another program, um, you can save it as a JPEG. And that would work just fine too. So once you've got your letterhead design, then we want to open up. Microsoft Word. So I'm going to go File New to create a new document. And once you get to this stage, you're going to want to kind of follow the steps um, pretty closely here. Now, depending on what Microsoft Word uh, version you have, it might kind of look a little bit different. Same thing if you're on a PC versus a Mac. I'm, I'm here on a Mac right now. But you should be able to find these buttons somewhere in your version. So, once you have your blank document, I'm looking for the insert option, I believe. There we go. So, I click on that insert tab. And what I'm trying to find is the, the header. So, I'm going to click on the header option. I want to add a header. Now, I don't want to choose any of their, their options or presets. I want to go down to the bottom where it says edit header. Okay, so here we have the option to add a custom header at the top or a footer down at the bottom. I don't need to worry about this in Microsoft Word because I already designed it outside in Illustrator. So I'm going to bring that in. And the way you bring your design in is you want to look for the picture from file option. So I'm going to click on picture from file and now I'm going to find that PDF that I created. When you name your files really clearly, it helps you find them a lot easier. So letterhead design Josh Heckner, that PDF is what I named it before. And I go ahead and click insert. So it looks pretty good. I'm happy with it, but the sizing is different. And there's some adjustments I need to make. To make all of our adjustments now, I'm going to go to position. Okay, so I look for the position option. So when I click on position, I once again want to bypass all of their suggestions and I want to go to the more layout options button. Here I have three different tabs. The first tab that I start with is text wrapping. So I want to go to text wrapping and I want to make sure I select behind text. I want my design to be behind the text that I type in Microsoft Word. So I set that there and then I go to size. The size that I want is going to be 100% because I want that to be the same size that I created it 
and intended it for. And you can look right down here. Then I go to position, and I want to keep it to absolute position, zero inches, but I want to change to the right of column. I want to change that to page. And when I do that, I have to go back over here, bump it down to zero again, and then I do the same thing for the vertical option. Absolute position, zero inches below the top of the page. There we go. So zero, zero, page, page. I like to go back and make sure that all my other changes stuck. Sometimes I've had to do this twice um, when Microsoft Word kind of glitches out. So if you have to go in twice, don't worry. You're not alone. Um, and now I'm, I'm happy with it. Okay, It looks like to be in the right position, the size, everything looks good. Go back to the header and footer tab and then click close header and footer. When you click on close header and footer, it gets out of that kind of option menu and your design should have kind of grayed out. Now don't worry, the reason it grayed out is because you set your design to be behind the text and that's just the way Microsoft Word works and, uh, and the way they view it. When you hit print or you save this file as a Word document or PDF, um, all of your design will be fully saturated and it won't be grayed out, so don't worry about that. Now depending on your design, you are going to have to adjust your margins. So to adjust our margins, because if I just start typing now, the problem is some of that type overlaps my design. I don't want that to happen. To change your margin, I believe it's under the layout option, and then you're going to find the margins button. Click on the margins button, and once again, skip through everything they suggest and go to custom margins. And that'll take a little while to open. And this is where you are going to set and change these dimensions based on your design. So I would like my, my type to be a little bit lower than where it is. So I'm going to increase that size. I'm going to go maybe 10.3. I'll try that. Hopefully it'll move it down here somewhere. Um, the bottom of the page, the only thing I'm worried about is down here. It, it's not going to affect that. But I, I do want to try to keep it equal, so I will make that equal just, just for the sake of it. Oops. Um, for the left side, I want this to be adjusted over here. So I don't think 1.3 is going to work. I'm going to have to use something like 1.7 maybe. We'll see what that looks like. And then the right side, I've got all this blank space, this white space, and I can leave that as, as one inch. I'm okay with that. So I'll click OK. And that looks to be good. So as I type now, it would fill in kind of that space. I'm going to go ahead and delete that. And I'm, I'm happy with this. Now the way I want to save this is I want to save this as a Microsoft Word template because every time I open up this file, I want it to be blank. I want to have my margins set exactly the way they are. I want to have my design placed and spaced and sized exactly the way it is. Um, so by saving a Microsoft Word template, that's my best bet. So I'm going to go to File, Save As. I don't like to do this, Save As Template. Do Save As because it gives you more options. I'll name it letterhead, design, and then my name. Save it in my Creative Cloud Files folder. And down here, the file format, this is where I want to pay attention and change it to Word template. And go ahead and click Save. Terrific. Now, every time I find that file on my computer, it should open up a blank a blank file ready for me to type ready for me to sh to save um, after you've typed in your letter and you're you're happy with overall everything you have that's when you go file save as and this is where I recommend saving it as just a word document or a PDF each one of those are great for for sharing and for distribution I hope this video helped you learn how to take your letterhead from Illustrator or Photoshop or another design software program and 
put it into a very usable uh, template in a word processor, word processing uh, software program like Microsoft Word. Um, have a good day. Thanks.